All right, what's up everyone? And welcome to my brand new home garage. So in addition to this three car garage that's attached to the house, we have this whole separate detached 1000 square foot finished garage, finished as in, you know, it's drywall and all that stuff's done. But we're gonna be doing a whole video series talking about flooring options, mounting options for your pressure washer, for your vacuum system, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so really just trying to deal, uh, d dial it all in. And then we're gonna talk about these flooring options because there are actually a lot of options on the market. However, there are two that are well known for this type of thing, and that would be Swiss Tracks and Race Deck. But at around $5 per square foot, uh, doing this thousand square foot garage is gonna be super expensive. And I really like to communicate value on the channel. And those may be the case of the most value because they're proven, right? They lasted a long time. They're made specifically for this type of situation. Situation. You can spill chemicals and things like that on them and they withhold all of that. But we're gonna look at some more inexpensive options, stuff that you can definitely do to get the same effect and quality of, of appearance and make it look really good for as low as about $1.50 a foot. And one more note guys is obviously epoxy flooring is another option. Um, my, the garage is attached to the house that people did previously and it's peeling up. Uh, I just don't wanna go through that again. Obviously they didn't do it, they did it themselves. So take that for what it is. If you do it with a professional company, it's a different situation. Um, but I did get some quotes and they were ranging between $7 for an epoxy flooring uh, up to $10 a foot, $7 a foot up to $10 a foot for a polished concrete flooring. So um, just take that for what it is. It's just, I'm trying to find the best budget option here. And those are more expensive than any of these tiles. So that's why I'm just talking about the tiles. All right, guys. So one of my main concerns with garage flooring is the ventilation. So obviously the concrete slab can still hold moisture in it. I was talking to my buddy who's a flooring contract. He said, yeah, you want to make sure that you don't have too much water or moisture trapped in that slab. Because if you do, then that can cause issues. It's, he said it's almost like a salty buildup. It starts kind of getting crusty on top, lifting some of the tiles. I don't want to deal with that. Um, so obviously there's a couple things you can do. You can get your, your slab tested, um, but I'm just trying to figure out a easy solution and cost effective solution for most people where maybe you want your garage to look really good, but you're just renting. You don't wanna invest thousands and thousands of dollars in getting it all set up, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be looking at all the choices that I have here. There's 11 different options varying price points. So let's jump into it. Number one, guys, we're gonna look at Swiss tracks. Like I said, I'm assuming that's probably actually, if we're looking at long-term value, that's probably gonna be my number one choice. Um, it's just, like I said, for you guys, it just depends on your situation. If it, you own the home, it may be worth going that route, right? And then you just don't have to worry about it. They're built for this and that's it. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and look at the three options that I have from Swiss Tracks. Okay, so number one is the Swiss Tracks Rib Tracks Pro. This is their like, their, their main piece here, guys. This is 15 and 15.75, I believe, by 15.75. So almost 16 by 16. Uh, this thing retails for $4.99 per square foot. So the tile itself is like, I, I don't know, because it, it's bigger than a square foot. It's like eight or nine or 10 bucks, something like that. But as you can see, the depth is really nice. It's a nice thick piece. Obviously, when we're talking about the slab and having moisture in it, we don't have to worry about that with these types of flooring because they're completely ventilated and any moisture is just gonna be able to absorb right out, no problem at all. Now, if you look closely, these things have this little hole kind of in four corners. I'm assuming that's where the mold is held because um, I was thinking maybe that's extra drainage, but when you look under, um, I'm not seeing any other hole. It's right here, so. Um, I guess it's just where the mold is held. Now, from there, we have the Rib Tracks Pro. Then we have the Rib Tracks Smooth Pro or Pro Smooth. And this is just giving you a nice flat surface. So this is gonna be easier to wheel all your carts and everything over because it's not gonna be hitting these grooves. Now, I don't think that's a huge deal. Um, I've seen a bunch of reviews. I mean, as long as you have a decent sized wheel, it's gonna go over that, no problem. But this one's even upgraded from there. It's just a nice smooth surface. So really depending on what you you know, what kind of look you're going for, um, those are gonna be great options. This one's the same size as this. And retail wise, it is the same price as well. $4.99 a foot. Um, depth wise, let's see how tall this thing is in comparison. And yeah, they're both, both same, well, essentially the same size just because this is smooth. It's like this was just grinded down. Um, so you lose a little bit there, but a millimeter maybe. Um, yeah, they're essentially the same size here, guys. And then last but not least, we have the Rib Tracks Smooth Home. Um, now this one is not their garage spec one, 
but it, I think you can use it for garage. Their, their website's a little bit confusing because they show this thing, but then it shows what to use it on, and they talk about the Pro Smooth. So I don't know if, I, I'm assuming you could probably still use it. Um, it's just the warranty is not gonna be as good as with those ones. Um, but basically what we have here is a 12 by 12, so one square foot. This retails for $3.99, so you can save some money there. But again, I don't know if it's gonna last as long. And then for me personally, the glossy sheen, I just I like that, you know, the matte or satin type of finish much more than this glossy sheen, personally. Uh, again, vents out, no problem at all. Um, we do not have that little, the little hole or anything like that on these ones. I'm, man, I'm trying to, no, I don't know. It just doesn't have it. So um, again, I'm not exactly sure what these are. I'm assuming it's from the mold, but the smaller one does not have it. As far as depth goes or height of this thing goes, uh, as you can see, the Rib Tracks Smooth Pro is quite a bit taller uh, than the uh, basic rib track smooth for your home. So one good thing about these Swiss tracks is that they come in a bunch of different colors. So you can really dial it in, do a checkered pattern or some sort of design. Really, really cool stuff. They also make um, ones I think where you can print a logo on it. Swiss tracks just, you know, they're a leader in the game here, guys. That may be the best choice. But like I said, I'm trying to communicate value to you guys. So, um, and just being cost effective depending on your situation. So moving from there, let's go over to Race Deck. Now Race Deck has been in the game forever and they basically have two options that are similar to the Swiss track ones. I, can't, I, I think that Race Deck may have been the original. I, I don't know guys, to be perfectly honest, but very, very similar here between these two. Um, the race deck, let's see here. I have some notes here. I'm just going to look at it real quick for you. The free flow XLC. That's this one. That's the big guy. Okay. So really nice. And it's kind of interesting. It's kind of a blend between what Swiss tracks did with their normal and then their, their smooth. This one's kind of in between. So they, it looks like the, uh, the rounded surface is smoothed off at the top. Definitely not as smooth as the rib track smooth, but kind of in between. Now this one retails for $4.88 a foot. Similar, uh, you know, construction uh, or uh, connection pattern. This one does not have any spots that I can see that look like uh, where the mold was held, like the Swiss tracks have. Um, but very, very similar in construction here, guys. Let me go ahead and just move this over, get a flat end to a flat end with these and see. Now, the, as you can see, guys, the race deck is a larger tile. Um, but not huge, so probably maybe, I don't know, these were 15 set by 7.5, so maybe 18 inches, maybe? I can't remember, I, I didn't write it down, but somewhere right around there. And height-wise, they look to be, so man, so close. Let's see here, push it down flat. I would say, yeah, the Swiss tracks is going to be a little bit higher. Um, I've seen people liking that because if any dr uh, dirt gets trapped in there, it sits lower and you don't even notice it because the, the thickness of the tile is so large. But the race deck is right there. It's very, very close. Um, again, slightly bigger. Comes out to $4.88 a square foot. And then they also have their free flow. This, I, I don't know if this was the original. Um, and then they came out with a bigger one or what. But the original here, the free flow is 12 by 12. So one square foot retails for $3.99. So we're going to be at the same price as the smooth from Swiss Tracks. Um, and again, same type of construction. Uh, let's see here, just to see the height between the Swiss tracks and the and the uh, race deck, and yeah, we're at, we're same height here. So very similar options, just one smooth, one is not. However, um, I do like the color finish on this one a little bit more. It's just, like I said, actually, I don't know. From this angle, it doesn't bother me nearly as much, but in certain ang other angles, it is a little bit too glossy for me. Versus like that one's a nice kind of clean matte satin sheen. Um, whereas this one has a little bit of gloss. But again, those are your two options um, that I ordered and uh, samples of from Race Deck. All right, guys, those are the two big names in this garage flooring type of, type of uh, interlocking tile system. Now let's go ahead and go on to some off-brand name and then like more uh, big box style stores. So first one up here, this one is from a company called, or it's, man, it was called Ink Stores or something like that. Um, it's stamped with a logo that says Garage, Garage Flooring Ink. And these guys come in a bunch of different colors. Um, let's see here. And these ones, they're called the Nitro Tile. And they are $2.69 a square foot. So really good value play here um, when you're comparing it to these other ones. Now, again, guys, when I spoke to my buddy who is a flooring contractor, he said you won't really want to look at the warranty details. 
because even though they say garage, that's not always meant for like having heavy cars on them, hot tires, all that kind of stuff. So again, I don't know the options on that. We are gonna be testing this stuff out over time with whichever one I go with. Um, but just keep that stuff in mind. Look at the warranties, really kind of do your homework on that. Um, but I'm just trying to give you guys the initial overlook and pricing of these things. So again, this one, let's compare this to the race deck brand. So pretty similar, right? Um, I would say this one's actually a mixture of more, a mixture between the two race decks. Cause this one has, again, not a completely smooth surface, but the rounded top has been smoothed down versus this one you can see is definitely more round. So I like that a lot. This one is a little bit glossy. Um, again, not my favorite, but not bad. And then height wise, I would, the race deck is a little bit taller. So I don't know. Um, as far as longevity, I don't know, but at two, 269 a foot, you got some really good value here um, in comparison to some of the other ones. But again, the other ones have the, the notoriety and the, the warranty and everything to stand behind them. So keep that in mind. Moving on from there, we have another one that I found on Amazon. This is from a company called Boss Detail. What I like about this is they have a ton of options for color. Um, what I don't like, I'm gonna point out to you here really quickly here, guys. Um, right off the bat, the Boss Detail one, 12 by 12, nice satin finish. Um, retails for 339 a foot. But look at this, guys. I I'm assuming this is where the mold is held but that's a no-go for me. If you drop your knee on that, that is sharp. It's not good. So let's go ahead and open this up and just look at the other ones to make sure they're all like that. So different, but same. Different, but same. You know, it's like they file them down, but they don't file them down super well. So, you know, that's not great. Um, I wouldn't run the risk of dropping my knee on that. It's sharp and I don't want that. So for me guys, the Boss Detail ones look like a good option on Amazon. Um, but they're, I would say no, the construction of them, the quality doesn't seem to be refined enough. That intersection right there looks like it would be painful. Really quickly, let's look at the height of them just so you guys can have that information in your head. And here we are, this is next to the uh, nitro tile. So the Boss Garage one is definitely taller. Let's put it up next to the rib, uh, let's see, this is the race deck. And again, it's even taller than that. So there's definitely benefit to it if you want a deeper um, solution to hide more dirt. These, these ones aren't bad for that, but like I said, just that construction right there is just sloppy. Just doesn't look like it'd be a good fit. That looks like it could hurt. So, and, and guys, I want to be clear about something. I ordered one box from that company. So that one box, all of them are like that, but maybe that's an old box. I don't know. Maybe their other ones are more refined and, and, and no problem at all. If you have used these boss detail, uh, tiles, and have any uh, information about that, please comment below. Let us know what your experience has been with them um, because I really like them. They're a nice depth, nice. They feel like good quality. It's just that inner piece is, is a no-go for me. Um, moving on from there, we have one last one of these kind of vented system ones, and that would be here. Now, we, I, I say it's one, but it's kind of two. So this is from a company called Happy Buy, available on Amazon. Uh, comes in either gray or black. And with the Happy Buy, let's see here. These range between $1.90 and 220 a foot, um, which is a phenomenal price here. Um, Happy Buy, I was like, what company is this? Well, when you lift it up, it's tagged with Vivor. And they even sell Vivor on, on um, Home Depot's website, not in store, but they do have them on the website. So that gives me a lot more confidence. Now, build quality doesn't feel as strong as some of the other ones, but it looks good, right? You're gonna get that appearance that you want. Um, interlocking, vented all the way through. Uh, as far as depth goes, let's compare it again to, let's see here, we'll compare it to the race deck. And yeah, pretty much the same height here. Slightly, slightly different. One thing to note is with the Vivor, it has this edge all the way through and then the piece, whereas these ones, these pieces are built on top of the edge. Let's see, even here as well. If you see what I'm saying, this piece is on top of the edge versus this one's recessed into it. So I don't know, it may give you a slightly different appearance, um, but just something to note. I guess the rib track smooth home is similar to that where it's like flush with the side, um, but all the other ones it's sitting on top. So just keep that in mind. Now guys, one big thing to note with these Vivor tiles. Again, I, 
longevity with these? I don't know, but these are your best price value play. Um, again, depending, right? If it only lasts six months, then it's a terrible idea. But if it lasts you a good amount of time, then the, then the price value here is phenomenal because again, $1.90 to $2.20 on Amazon under the happy buy name. But if you go to Vivor's website, uh, let's see here, what are they going for? This is the one that goes for $1.54 per square foot. So for me, 1,000 square foot garage is gonna cost me about 1,500 bucks versus something like the race deck or Swiss tracks would be $5,000. So, you know, big difference there. Again, with this garage, cars will be parked here. I'll be working on cars here. That's, it's just gonna be more workshop. So it'd probably be perfectly fine over there, over here, who knows. Color fastness when it sits out in the garage. Garage door is open. Sunlight coming in on it could bleach them out. It says it's UV, uh, it has an UV inhibitors in it, even with these cheap ones. How well that works, I don't know. Um, and then another thing to mention is um, heat and cooling in your garage. I'm in Southern California. It's gonna be a nice, pretty mild climate. But if you're in a place where it gets really hot and really cold, there will be some fluctuation of these, um, any of them. And again, with the Swiss tracks and race, jack, race deck and all that, they're built for this, so you, you know what you're getting. With these cheaper ones, I don't know personally offhand, but that's what we're here to test out. Okay guys, now moving on to some big box store location type flooring. These don't have the same venting um, ability. So that's what does concern me if there is moisture in this lab. Really keep this in mind. But this first one here is from Blue Hawk and this is available at Lowe's. So this one, as you can see on the back of it, it does have some raised texture. This is the back. So I guess that's, a, I mean, there's no way for it to escape, but it is some sort of separation for moisture. Um, and then there's a nice raised coin style. So I like these a lot. They're nice, 20 and a half inches by 20 and a half inches. That thing retails for, let's see here, the Blue Hawks. Uh, whatever the box price is, but square foot wise is $2.96 a square foot. So not a bad value there. Um, moving on from there, there is another one that's available at Home Depot from the Traffic Master brand. It's gonna be a similar type of situation. That one goes for 270 or 220. I can't tell with my notes, I apologize. 220 to 270, I'm not sure which one, but it is a little bit cheaper than these ones. Um, and then another one available at Home Depot is this one from the Husky brand. And this is a specific garage flooring that they listed as. Now this comes in gray and black, and this one is uh, 18 by 18 inches, retails for $3.80 a square foot. Now again, this one does have that technology to gas out or, or release some, uh, moisture. So as you can see, it is raised up and then there's a little venting pieces kind of broken all the way through right here. So I guess it will vent out over time. Um, obviously it's not going to vent out as fast as those, you know, the Swiss tracks type of type of flooring. Um, but another cool option, I have seen a video made on these and it looked really good. They did a bunch of testaments, gasoline and all that kind of stuff. And it looked like it held up well. So another option for you. And then finally, in this same type of category, I found another set on Amazon, and that is here. This is the Versatex flooring. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I thought these were a good deal. I think when I bought them, maybe they were, but right now they're retailing for $4.03 a foot. All right, hey guys, really quickly, sorry if there's an echo, I'm just filming this on my phone, but for those Versatex tiles, I was wrong. This $4 per panel, uh, which comes to about 2.25 square feet. You multiply that by the 16, you can do 36 square feet with it. You divide that by the four bucks, or sorry, by the, the sell price of 65, comes like $1.80 a foot. So actually a really, really good value. If you don't have any concern with um, the moisture in the floor, that may be a really good choice at $1.80 a foot. Um, I think is what it was, is it fourth? I think that's what it was, guys. I'll double check. Um, it, that might be per tile, in which case the price per foot would be smaller or less, but one thing to note, guys, again, it is a more textured than the one from Lowe's. Raised coin flooring, it's nice, everything, everything looks good. However, the back has no sort of ventilation. It just, it's flat, very, very smooth. Um, so that's gonna be your main concern with these ones when you're looking at it for garage flooring and if you have any concern of moisture in your slab. So guys, please let me know your thoughts, your concerns, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna do this little series with this. I'm gonna have all these with me so we can, you know, let me know what you want me to pour on it and see what happens with them. Um, uh, again, to test the color fastness from UV, um, it's hard, that's over time. But right now, 
I would probably say best value over the long term. It's probably going to be the Swiss Tracks and the uh, Race Deck, right? They're proven. That's what they're here for. Swiss Tracks has some really cool options. I really, really like the Swiss Tracks Smooth. Again, just for the ability to roll right over it with the little detailing carts and things like that. I really like this thing. Um, so again, I think if money's not an option or if it's your personal home or whatever else and you're not worried about having to you know, redo things over and over, this is probably where I would go. Um, I really, really like these. However, guys, what I like to talk about on this channel is trying to get the, a, a close result, if not the best, but close to it with a lot less money spent up front. And so I'm going to be ordering some of these guys. I decided not the happy buy, happy, whatever. I'm just gonna go straight to Vivor and order these for this garage. Again, I will have my portion here. I will have some other cars in here every once in a while. I'll have my motorcycle, my kids' quads possibly still in here. I don't know what they're gonna do with those. Um, but I wanna see how these things hold up. Again, 1,000 square foot garage. I don't wanna initially spend $5,000 if I don't have to. Now again, if these only last a couple months, then it's a bummer, right? Because I'm gonna spend 1,500 on these and then another 5,000 going with the Swiss tracks. However, I wanna test these out for you guys, give these a fair shake and see how they, how they last. So again, about a buck 50 a foot, I'll put a link down in the description to all these different things. Um, and then I'll, I'll link these as the happy buy on Amazon or straight to Vivor so you guys can get an idea between the two of them. If you, if you wanna buy them cheaper, directly from Beaver is the option to go with. So that's it guys. Um, also these ones, they do come in green, blue, black, and gray. Uh, color wise, I'm probably gonna go with the gray, I think. I really like the way the black looks, but it's like you get a brand new, freshly asphalted uh, parking lot. You drive over it, you see exactly where, where you drove over it versus concrete that's you know a lighter color, you don't see it. So that's my thought. I wanna just try and keep everything looking as good as possible. So I think I'm gonna go with the gray and go from there. One other thing to note, guys, is the appearance of those things. They're awesome regardless, right? I think it adds a really, really cool effect to your garage or workspace. Um, one thing to note, when you go with the Swiss Tracks or a brand like that, it's a larger tile. So each one of these, you, when, when you lay them down, you kind of see like that, right? You can see the division between them. It looks almost looks like four tiles. When you go with this one that's only a square foot, you're gonna have the same thing, but these tiles of these squares are much, much smaller. So again, you're just gonna have a different uh, uh, look to them between, between these ones. Again, does it matter to you? Again, I think, uh, I'm saying again a lot, I apologize. But these ones I think are gonna be the best value over time just because they're already proven. These ones, I'm gonna invest in them and we're gonna try and prove if they're good or bad on this channel. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope you're excited for this. Again, comment down below. Let me know what you have, what you've used. Um, if you have used these and they're terrible, please let me know so I don't go in and, and spend the time to install these. Um, but let's go ahead and test it out. Thanks so much for watching. I please uh, make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.